Today's One Minute Truth is about how Gen Z is reimagining the world of luxury. Historically, we know that luxury has thrived by cultivating an aura of exclusivity, of success, and of excellence. But Gen Z is really re-examining these core tenets of luxury and how they fit into their own lives. So let's dive in. We can't talk about luxury without talking about exclusivity, and they think that a major shortcoming of luxury, especially for younger generations, has been traditional luxury brands' seemingly willful ignorance when it comes to catering to more diverse audiences. For every Fenty Beauty, there may be a Dolce & Gabbana campaign or a Gucci sweater that reinforces the idea that luxury wasn't designed with you in mind. But this doesn't deter Gen Z from aspiring to luxury altogether. Rather, Gen Z has shown that if they don't like what they're seeing in any industry or walk of life, they'll go and forge their own path. For example, when the Met Gala was canceled this year, that didn't stop Gen Z from throwing their own virtual party where everybody was welcome to the table. So it's no surprise that we know from our data that 73% of Gen Z believe brands need to do more to promote diversity. And this tension between Gen Z's strong belief in diversity and inclusion presents a rather bittersweet pill when it comes to the world of luxury. When asked how they most want to be remembered, Gen Z is the sole generation that responded as somebody who changed the world in a positive way. And so the common struggle for this generation is that their passion for social causes and a desire for material luxury can often feel at odds with one another. We even see this playing out in the language that's being used around the world of luxury. Gen Z doesn't think of themselves or the objects or materials or experiences they want as luxurious. Rather, bougie has become the de facto term for luxury amongst Gen Z, especially among American teens. And the fact that it's derived from the term bourgeoisie kind of reveals the connotations of class and the tongue-in-cheek relationship that Gen Z ascribes to luxury. I'm a savage, yeah. Classy, bougie, ratchet, yeah. So, how can brands play a role in this space? First, it's crucial to understand that this generation continues to grapple with this bittersweet tension we just discussed. This generation can best be described as diamonds in the roughs. They value authenticity, celebrate imperfection, not to mention, much like their predecessors, they've come of age through several once-in-a-lifetime crises and continue to rally in the aftermath. As a result, Gen Z is rarely afforded a moment to disengage or decompress. Feelings of levity and true bliss are in short supply, and there's a need for brands to inspire and produce elevated moments that provide Gen Z with this sense of indulgence in an otherwise uncertain world. 